everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. And in this one I'm gonna show you a tutorial on how to use the replay mod. As you can see I got it installed and I'm running off Forge 1.12.2. So the first thing you're gonna do if you wanna create a beautiful camera movement scenery, I suggest going to single player and create a creative mood world. As I already got here, so it's pre-generated and everything, so I'll just use this as an example world. And if you load into a world, you should see at the top here that it says recording. That means that your replay mod is currently recording your gameplay. So you can just go into spectate mode if you got per permission to do that. And just generate as much terrain as you can. Because the more terrain you generate, the better the result will be. And I of course already generated a bunch of terrain here, so uh, ooh, like, I don't really need to do that. So we can just let it record for a couple of seconds and then we can go into the editor. So when the recording is done and everything, you can just exit from the game or disconnect from the server. Then you go to replay viewer, select your replay mod and then you're gonna click load. As you can see, it loads into the world, and you can see here that the time is ticking, so we can just stop that for now. We don't really need that. And to get your uh, uh, mouse like this, you press your chat key, and I have mine on Y, so I just press Y and I can move my mouse around and use all these options. And I press escape to continue using the camera. So, uh, how do we create like camera, mo camera movements? Um, I'll just need to pick a position where I want to start the camera movement, so I can just do it like here. I press my chat key, and we make sure this is at zero. Then you're gonna click on add time keyframe on the first position. And I like to just uh, go over here, and just select the second. Because you need two of these uh, keyframes for this to work. So start from the beginning, and click add position keyframe. Now this is your first camera position, as you can see, it's now pointing around here. And if you want to create a smooth camera movement, you need to select another position where you want the camera to stop at. So I will just select a position here. Then you need to drag this. This is how many seconds the animation will take you. If I set this here, it will take 5 seconds from the camera to move from this position to this position. So I think that's enough. So I'll click add position keyframe. Now if we would play this, it will play, whoops. It will play a smooth camera movement from the first camera to the second camera, as you can see. Now I'm going to add a second position, and we can do it around here. Press Y or your chat key drag this, we can do a little bit faster, so I can do around there, two seconds. And I click add position keyframe. Now you can see the path, how the camera will go. So we can just test it by dragging this to the start and play it. As you can see, it, it's not very smooth when it accelerates, so try to avoid doing that, so we can just uh, move this so it's exactly the same. There. Now if, if we play it, it should be more smooth. Yeah. So I suggest you using the same, same time between them. So we can just drag this to 15 to be ready. Okay, so next camera position, I want it to be around here. Press your chat key and press add position keyframe. Now we can check from the other camera position how this will look like when it goes up in there. Oops. Looks very nice, I like it. So you can do this a bunch of times around the map and you can use your scroll wheel to move faster, you know, it, it's like in spectator mode. So I'll just move this to 20, add position keyframe, now we can check how this looks like. 
Looks very nice, I like it indeed. So, this is basically how you create a beautiful scenery with a camera mod. It's very smooth, very simple, and yeah, easy to use. And how to record is that you can still use F1 to hide the GUI, as you can see. Uh, if you want to record your scenery, uh, I suggest you play it and press uh, F1 to hide the GUI. And you can of course hide this here uh, if you don't want that. As you can see, it's playing beautifully. And you can also use Optifine with uh, Forge, so you can use shaders for extra de detail and fanciness. So, that's basically it, how you can use the camera mod. I hope you guys find this tutorial useful. Don't forget to drop a like and leave a comment and subscribe for more content. And uh, yeah, have a good one. This has been it.